For this project, I'll be using some oak from some old cabinets. I just chose oak because it's semi-waterproof. So to start, I needed to get the board down to a little bit less than a half of an inch thick. And my planer is not working right now, so I just used the radial arm saw and made multiple cuts to clear out most of the waste. And then used a hand plane, chisel, and card scraper to clean it up the rest of the way. And it seems like this would take a long time, but it actually would have taken me probably just as long to use the planer with that many passes. I'm cutting the board into strips as wide as I want the cup to be tall. And these strips are being cross cut so that when I glue them together into a longer piece, I'm not gluing end grain. Once the glue dried, I lowered the blade on the table saw and cut a dado for the bottom of the cup to fit into. I'm cutting these pieces slightly off from 0 degrees in one direction and about 7 degrees in the other direction so that when I glue all these small pieces together, it'll make a circular cup that tapers towards the bottom. Now I'm making the bottom of the cup, and I just have to cut a quarter inch uh, circle to fit into that dado I cut earlier. Now I'll be gluing all the pieces together to make the cup, and I want this to be waterproof so I will not be using wood glue, I'll be using epoxy for everything. I'm just sanding everything. I'm using the belt sander to uh, flatten the top and bottom and a card scraper to knock off the edges to get it as close to round as I can. I 
I don't have a uh, spindle sander, so I'm using the drill press to sand everything inside. Now to make sure that it was totally waterproof, I coated the whole thing in epoxy. Now I'm cutting out the mortises for the handle to fit into, and I'm using a drill to clear out most of the waste, and then I came back with a chisel and a file to get down to the line. And now to make the handle for the cup, I cut out a couple more pieces from the oak cabinet and uh, glued them together into a piece to cut on the bandsaw. I had a hard time getting a clean cut on the bandsaw because the blade was so dull, so I went back with a file to get off any burn marks. Kind of as an afterthought, I decided to cut some slots for some wedges to fit into to make the handle more secure on the cup, but that turned out to be a bad idea, and you'll see why in a minute. Now I'm using the Dremel to do any final shaping on the handle. Now you can see I'm gluing the handle into the cup and attempting to drive the wedges in, but I did not think earlier of how I was going to do that, 
and I wasn't able to hammer them in, so I ended up just using a clamp to try to drive the wedge in, which did not get the wedge deep enough for it to do anything. At this point I was out of epoxy, so I just used some water-based polyurethane to get out the fog from the epoxy after sanding, and then I was done. For those of you wondering, I do know that epoxy and polyurethane are not exactly food safe, and I would not condone using it on anything you're gonna eat off of. But I waited until it had fully cured and I did drink out of it and nothing happened. I didn't even really notice an aftertaste, so seems pretty, pretty safe to me.